What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. Today we're gonna to put to the test more weird gadgets on Amazon. Let's see what I got this time. Of course, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, helps a lot. All right, let's get to this video. Got it here, mini corn dogs of forms. Look, this one like rockets and it's gonna stick out the hot dog just like a little rocket. So I got a few of them. This one looks like a hot dog, like in a bun. That's so funny. And this one looked like a shark. Look, a shark looked like eating a hot dog. A simple three step instruction. And this one looks like actual corn dog. So that's kind of unique. So let's open them up and follow the directions and see if they actually work. Oh, cool, comes with the little sticks. I was gonna do traditional corn dog butter, but it actually calls for pancake dough. So we got a bunch of pancake dough. And let's fill them up, see how well it's going to work. I'm really excited about sharks and the rockets. I think it's going to be my biggest favorite and then this too. Wow, they're all definitely different sizes. The hot dogs can fit the most. Okay, just oil everything up. So it will stick if we don't oil it. We're probably just going to do four in each plate so I don't have to make so many hot dogs so I don't have to eat them all. Kind of have a feeling this one will be the hardest. No, it's all easy. Not really sure. Then I got out here mini hot dogs. I don't know why my hot dogs all squish like that. Hopefully they will become normal. Okay, one more over here. And I think this one's we're supposed to sink it a little bit so the shark look like eating it. I guess like that is good. The corn dogs over here. Put it in. Quite messy. Oh, overfilled it. Oh well. This probably couple of them will do good. Kind of hard to hold them, especially with one hand. But I'm only gonna do one layer. It'll be a lot. One. Oh yeah. Two. Not too flimsy, so it's good. And the last one, the rocket ones, I'm really excited about. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna turn out. 20 minutes. Okay. okay guys, I thought we overfilled it, but it still looks good, even though we overfilled it. That's amazing. Wow, I can see the shark, it's gonna work out. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. Ah, overfilled it. Uh, the hot dog definitely don't show up as much. There you go. It's kind of nice, but I don't see the shark like they were hoping uh, to show on the picture. This hot dog, I forgot to put a hot dog in the wall. Okay, the racket actually turned out so well. Check this out. That was my favorite. And look, the racket looks so good. Look at that rocket. Again, if I didn't overfill, it would look like this. But even with that stuff, it looks good. Yeah, rockets definitely turn out really well. Got a couple more rockets. Yeah, every one of them. Yeah, rockets is a good kind. Check this out. With the extra pancake dough. They are hot dogs, even though I overfilled them. They just worked out anyways. Definitely overfilled it too much, but they look cool anyways. This one probably didn't overfill. My hot dogs were kind of a bit too long, but that's funny. And the last one over here, let's see how this one's... Wow, this one's also worked out so well. This seems to be a bit bigger. Even though I overfilled it, it's still just a little bit extra pancake. I love it. You see how this one's actually each layer section popped out. On the sharks it didn't work that well. You see you kind of see it but don't. With this one's worked out so well. In the sun it looks a little bit better. How cute. Another phone cooling gadgets. Video games are getting better and better on cell phone. Almost getting better than cell phones so sometimes cell phones overheat. So anyways comes with the chargers. Some kind of stand over here, I guess that's gonna go over the phone. Or oh, actually this one has suction cups. 
Wow. Wow, pretty stone. Okay, how do we turn it on and off? There you go, there's a light. Ooh, beautiful. And I think uh, it changes the lights by itself. Or you can change it. No, I guess you can just turn it off or on. Ooh, this is pretty stone fan. And this is probably the best phone cooler because you don't need any kind of attachment over it. It sticks in there so well and it looks so cool at the same time. Wow, it actually does cool off the phone. It feels a lot cooler than it is. And if you take off the case, it's gonna cool off the phone even better. Oh wow, you can actually turn it up. No way, there is a third mood that is even more powerful. This is the best. This is my third uh, fan for the phone. And I'll tell you what guys, this is the best one. I love it how there's a different colors. So yeah, super cool. You can game in the hot weather and not worry about your phone melting down. Got it here, very unique switch. So let's try it out, see what it's all about. Same thing here, it's like thin like that and then put the button in. Okay, and then tighten it up. This is kind of cool for maybe like game room or something like that. And whenever you want to turn on lights or off, you have this actual pushing buttons. How cool is that? And it pushes out this button. This is actually really, really cool. So again, if you have a man cave or a game room, this could be really cool and unique. Not just those boring lights. And it's so easy to switch. You just grab yourself a multi-tool and unspin it now. So easy to install and easy to uninstall. I'd say this is a very cool product. Probably gonna install it at my house somewhere. And whenever you want it old one back, you can put this one old one back. Look how boring and ugly that is. I mean, depends where. For the next gadget, they said here, another very cool camping spoon. And what's so special about that? Obviously, very awesome, like bush crafting, almost looking like a handcrafted spoon, but I'm pretty sure the machine did that, and it's a pretty cool brand. But yeah, why you wanna use uh, a spoon while camping it's lightweight but at the same time whenever you eat in hot soup the actual spoon don't heat up as much anyways thought it was just a cool product that is kind of worth buying uh, some people don't even know this kind of product exists so making a little awareness out there got it here another unique levitating lamp so let's see what it's all about so there's a magnet thing Oh wow, check this out, on and off right here, just almost like touch screen. And look, if it's you moved it or bump into it too much, don't have to worry about this thing falling. If anything, it will magnetize it and hold it together. And it's so unbelievable that it works without any wiring, just from uh, the magnets. Light bulb right here, I wish there was a button to turn it on and off, but I guess you don't have any batteries, so you have to be connected to this thing. You see if it goes all bounce, it's just gonna magnetize, so hopefully it won't fall on you. And it is on and off, it's not even a button, it's just like a senses your finger. Pretty cool. So I guess you can turn it on and spin it. Whoops. Spin it. How unique is that? Got it here, levitating speaker. Let's see what this thing is all about. So this is the speaker. Okay. And there's a levitating platform. Now the question is, I guess it's easy to grab it and put it back in. It's such a weird feeling to put it back in. It's a little bit kind of bouncing if you try to pull it lower. But yeah. So let's turn it on. Okay, there's on and off button right here. Quite loud. Oops. Just set it to where it levitates. So I guess Bluetooth automatic. Okay, no problem. Come up quickly. 
levitates check this out it's so weird how it spins so it's one of those simple bluetooth speakers let's watch one of my videos so we don't get copyrighted oh wait check this out so There's it's no book. pretty no cool cheap it's speaker you can take it out easy. listen to Let it zoom in that. Oh, and put it back in the... will it work the left hand doesn't work that easily there you go, you got that sweet that part, sweet Check spot, this. boom. This levitating polar form is pretty stone, as you can see, I could even angle it a little bit. Not too much, because it will fall. And as you can see, this whole thing spins. It gets me every time, because I think it's going to fall, but it just magnetizes it. So you got to just get it on a sweet spot, and there you go. It will just float like that. Is that weird? So unique to see something levitating super magic of but yeah it works check this out so yeah very interesting levitating speaker got it here another leather coin wallet filled it up with a bunch of coins bunch of quarters what's so special about that the coins only can hold in here so you can either open it up like that grab some coins or you can just uh unfold them like that so that way you can just pick out the smaller coins different type of coins once you got what you need, just push them back in and close them. What's so cool about leather, it does stretch out over time, so it probably can fit more coins. And it does not make you lose change, like bounce around whenever you walk around. 